Hi guys, today we have a quick little mini lesson where we're going to be practicing factoring by grouping. And the goal of this lesson is going to be to be able to factor quadratic polynomials by grouping. And we are going to focus specifically on trinomials that we have seen before in lesson 8.6. So for letter A, we're going to take this, the starting approach that we used before. We're looking for factors of 6. We multiplied our 3 and 2. So we're looking for factors of six that are gonna add up to seven. And I know those two factors are gonna be one and six. All right, so the first step for grouping is we rewrite our first term, three x squared. Now is where we come in with our two factors. We're gonna add six x and one x, and then we have our two. And we can see when we simplify this, we would have 6x plus 1x would equal 7x. That's our goal here. So when it comes to grouping, we're going to draw our grouping symbols around 3x squared and 6x and around 1x and 2. And now what we're going to do is we are going to pull out our common factors in each of these groups. So in 3x squared plus 6x, our common factor is a 3x and what remains is x plus 2. In our second group, our common factor that we can pull out is simply a 1. We're going to be left with x plus 2. So now I can see I have two terms, and both terms have x plus 2 as one of their factors. So I can pull that out from the whole thing. So we have x plus 2 times the quantity, what's left in my first term? It's going to be a 3x. What's left in my second term? A positive 1. And that's how we can factor a quadratic trinomial by grouping. All right, so our second example, we have 2x squared minus 17x plus 21. So we're looking for factors of 42 that are going to add up to negative 17. And since we've done this one already, I know that our factors are going to be a negative 14 and a negative 3. 14 plus negative 3 is going to give us negative 17. So we start by rewriting. We've got 2x squared minus... 14x minus 3x plus 21. Now, when we're dealing with negative signs, we're going to draw our parentheses a little bit differently. We're going to include the negative sign in our parentheses, and we're going to add a plus sign in between. So we're saying we're adding a negative 3x to this term. So now we're going to do the same process, look for our common factors. So in our first group here, we have a common factor of 2x, which is going to leave us with x minus 7 inside the parentheses. And I have my plus sign. I can pull out a negative 3 from this one. So we're going to take out negative 3. We're going to be left with x minus 7. All right, now I have two terms, and they both have x minus 7 as one of their factors. So I can pull that out. And what I'm left with is, in my first term, 2x. And in my second term, a minus 3. And we are now simplified. Now, factoring by grouping does get a little tricky when you have to deal with negative signs. All right, letter C. We've got 2x squared minus x minus 3. So we write our expression. We have 2x squared. And I know my factors are going to be a negative 3x and a positive 2x. I'm going to do plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. All right, so now I'm looking for my groupings. 
I draw in my plus sign, and now I need to pull out my common factors. In our first term, common factor is 2x, and we're going to be left with x plus 1. In my second term, I can take out a negative 3, and I'll be left with x plus 1. Now, if you're factoring by grouping, you should end up with a common term in both, uh, or a common factor in both of your terms, which we have. It's x plus 1. And we're going to be left with 2x minus 3. Letter D. We have 10x squared plus 31x minus 14. So I know we're looking for uh, factors of negative 140 that are going to add up to positive 31. And since we've done this problem before, we already know what those are. We've got a plus 35x and a minus 4x, and we have the minus 14. Again, 35x minus 4x gives us 31x. Draw in our parentheses, and we put in our plus sign. So my common factors in my first term is going to be a 5x. We're left with x plus 7. Common factors to be pulled out of here is a negative 2, and we're left with Two x minus seven. Plus seven. And I see that I did my math wrong here. This is two x plus seven there as well. Ten x squared divided by five x is two x. So that's always a good check if we're factoring by grouping. You need to make sure both of these are going to be the same. So now we pull out that common factor. We've got 2x plus 7. And we're left with 5x minus 2. Okay. Our last example. Letter E, 8x squared minus 36x minus 20. Our first step is going to be to look and see that we can uh, factor out a common factor from all three of these terms. So the first thing we're going to take out is a 4, which leaves us with 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Now, these kinds of problems are where factoring by grouping can get a little tricky because we're going to have multiple parentheses that we're going to be dealing with. So we're looking for products of, or factors of the product of negative 10 that are going to add up to negative 9. So I know my factors are going to be a negative 10x and a positive x. And this is where things can get a little tricky. Because we already have one set of parentheses, we're going to be adding in a second set of parentheses so that we can do our grouping. So now we can see we have two sets of parentheses that are inside a larger group. So we have that 4 on the outside. And now we need to look and see what are my common factors between 2x squared and negative 10x. And that's going to be a 2x. What remains is x minus 5. We have our plus sign. What is my common factor in x minus 5? It's a 1. So I have my x minus 5 again and we close our parentheses. 
So our last step is going to be to factor out a common term that we have in each, which is x minus 5. So we rewrite our 4. Now we write x minus 5. That's the factor we pulled out. What remains is 2x plus 1. All right. Now, as I said, this is another approach to help you guys factor trinomials. If you're finding that the box method is a little difficult, I uh, want to give this one a shot and see if it works for you. Have a great night.